quatrième top. Il sera 17h18. At the Paris Observatory, the right time has been measured and broadcast for 80 years since the invention of the talking clock, the world's first. Before that time, loads of people called the Paris Observatory to get the right time, and that was a big problem for staff and phone lines. In 1929, the director, Ernest Esclangon, was tired of seeing all his phone lines clogged up and decided to develop an automated system. On Valentine's Day in 1933, this machine first announced the time. Its voice was that of Marcel Laporte, also known as Radiolo, at the time the most famous announcer on Radio Paris. Over the past 80 years, the observatory's clocks have made great technological strides. Their atomic precision has reduced the margin of error to one millionth of a second. A gender policy shift was 60 years in coming. The time is now given by a male and a female voice. This is a good example. Today, smartphones and the internet give the time with great precision. So who still phones in just to know what time it is? By definition, we don't have a good profile of the people calling the talking clock. We don't know much about them. They're ordinary people and companies. There are probably also some machines out there who use the clock to synchronize their time. We estimate the talking clock still gets a million calls per year. Each call to the talking clock costs 56 euro cents. Money that's helped to keep alive the clock for 2,254,608,000 seconds and counting.